Hi, I'm Craig Ship. You're probably watching this on my website, craigship.com. If you're watching it on YouTube, head on over to my website, craigship.com, and you're going to find a lot of helpful information that I've compiled over the years. I'm into local portal websites is the best way to describe them. An example would be frederick.com, and that is for the area of Frederick County, Maryland, USA. If you go to frederick.com, you'll find all kinds of information about that local area. And it is supported by local businesses. Businesses can advertise in what we call the A to Z business directory. They can actually get a name, address, and phone number listing for free. And then many of them choose to upgrade to become a sponsor. And that gets them up above all the free listings. The pecking order is sponsors first, then what we call additional listings, which are sponsors, maybe on other sites, uh, they're also paid positions, and then the free listings are below that. So everybody gets in, the sponsors get better positioning. And the concept is create a website, a brand name for a community like frederick.com, where people know that they can go to that website and they can find a lot of information about the area and they can actually contribute information. So if a church, for example, is having a fundraiser, they can add their fundraiser to the events calendar and people can find out about that. Uh, all the big players now are talking about local. Local is very important and all these mobile phones have GPS built into them and so forth. And so uh, they know where your location is. They can theoretically serve you ads and tell you where local restaurants are and so forth. So everybody's jumping on this local bandwagon. But what we've done is we've locked down the best URLs or website addresses for these communities so that it's very easy for people to find them, whether that be locals, whether that be people thinking about relocating to the area. Uh, maybe a business is thinking about setting up a, a branch in, in Frederick County, Maryland. So, of course, they're going to go to frederick.com to learn about the area. And there's another big advantage to businesses having their information on a local portal like frederick.com is they have a lot more control. They, they can interact with us. They can call us on the phone. We can, we can help them with, with issues. A big player like Google and so forth, it's almost impossible to do that. So even though these big players are getting into local, we think a, a website that really truly is a local community effort where everybody's getting together and doing it, doing it themselves together is a, a, a very good option for, for business owners, for nonprofit groups, for local governments to all have their own portal website that they can interact on and control and 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 basically do all the things that we used to do with local newspapers and radio stations and other forms of what I call old media we can do all of those things now on the portal website so uh, I, I think this is the future we started this company way back in 1996 actually 98 was when the first site actually went online and then i came up here to frederick and started working uh, the frederick site in 1999 so this has been a long-term project to say the least and uh and now that everybody else is starting to jump on the bandwagon we're we're starting to to really get noticed and this is good because this is good for the community it's an efficient way to communicate, and it, it, I think, is the best use for these powerful local domain names like Frederick.com. I mentioned a few others, LoudonCounty.com. We also have HowardCounty.com. We have PrinceGeorges.com. Now, I don't just develop portal websites. I also develop other vertical sites on various subject matters and so forth, and you can learn more at my website, CraigShip.com. I also help people to leverage the internet to build their own brand. I help businesses create a brand online, make sure they register it properly on all the different platforms, make sure they come up with a good brand in the first place. That's step one is come up with a good brand in the first place. Then make sure you get it registered and locked down on all the major platforms. I help my, my clients do that. Um, we're now uh, heavily into internet broadcasting. Uh, we're doing more and more of that. So there, there's a lot of, of, of exciting things and exciting times ahead uh, with this thing we call the Internet. And there's so much potential. Um, I, I had a conversation on a local radio show today about uh, certain jobs going away. For example, if autonomous cars become popular, 
the taxi will be able to come to your house, pick you up, take you to your de destination. There doesn't even have to be a driver involved. So that driver, of course, is going to lose his job. So we had this discussion that, that technology always replaces jobs. When they built the first bulldozer, that can put a thousand men out of work. A bulldozer in one day can do the work of a thousand men digging with, by hand with shovels. So we've been putting people out of work with technology for, for many, many years, and that's going to continue. The, the bottom line is people need to roll with the times. They need to learn about these new technologies, and they need to make themselves valuable so that they're not replaced and so that they do have something meaningful to do for society and something to contribute uh, to society, which will make them valuable and obviously desirable to an employer uh, to hire them. So uh, thanks for your time, and please look around my website. I've got, let's see, would be over here maybe on the left side, the website. Let's see if you're watching it this way. Well, maybe it's on this side. Well, anyway, down the left-hand side of my website, you'll see a series of links, one of which is Complete Package, which has a lot of information about uh, tools that businesses and individuals can use to get the most out of the Internet. So thanks for visiting craigship.com. And uh, follow the links to the other websites I'm involved in. I also have links to my videos and my photos and so forth on the homepage, craigship.com. And thanks for tuning in. Thanks for listening. And I will try to uh, do my best to help make sense of this thing we call the Internet. Thanks again.